All right, so on your project essay here, I uh, just wanted to give you guys a couple pointers on how to uh, to do this. This might be uh, something new for some of you, and so I wanted to explain this a little bit better. Start off up here at the top, put your name, what hour you're in. You're in my class, so put my name there as well. And that's for, for your sake, so you know who to turn it into. Or if somebody loses it, they can turn it into me. Uh, put the date, uh, put the, the date that I started this. So uh, this was a few days ago. Um, and then your title. And uh, put your title here and in in, in center it, um, if you would. Uh, and you can, you can make the title whatever you want. I put as much as I could on there to give you an example. Um, in this first paragraph, if you guys look at your um, at your project uh, paper, it's uh, this is step two, question one, uh, part one, question one. Describe the person. Who is the person? Where are they from? And when when did they live? And so I try to put all that in the first paragraph, and then I use the source that I got the information from down here below. I put it in parentheses. I'll let you know which source it was. This is not how your English classes, your ELA classes, are going to ask you to do this. Um, you guys will be doing this soon, uh, but I just wanted to, to for, for my sake, whenever I'm looking for information and, and double-checking your sources, I want to make sure that you get your information from the right place. Now, if you go and you read the Nobel Prize or, uh, bio, um, it won't read just like this. It'll, I took different pieces from different parts of the article and uh, took the information and made my own sentences. I expect you to do the same thing because if you don't, you're stealing other people's ideas. And um, that's kind of the, we're, we're not trying to do this. We're just trying to inform people. Um, we're not going to be copying and pasting information uh, because that will get you a, a zero really quick. Uh, and so make sure you do it right. And I repeated that on the other two questions. Um, and down here at the bottom, the last one, the third one, this is really going to be a lot of your own ideas. Uh, so, you know, you can look up other people's ideas and claim them as your own, but then again, you'd be stealing. And so I, I took, uh, for example, down here at the bottom, um, where, um, let's see here, this, this quote, uh, the only reason I had to quote something there is those are his words and not mine. The rest are common knowledge. And uh, some other things that I know from off the top of my head about Martin Luther King that um, uh, different places that he worked. For example, I knew that he worked in Chicago. Um, we In the articles earlier talked about Alabama and Memphis. And so I know those things have already been cited and that's fine. But the rest of it I, I just know about his life and you guys probably do too. And so it's general knowledge so I didn't quote it. But his quote here I did from exactly uh, from his uh, letter to uh, – from a Birmingham jail um, article that he uh, wrote um, back in the 60s. So 50s or 60s, I can't remember when. But anyway, let's make sure that you guys um, – make sure you guys uh, put the right things here and do it the right way. Kind of keep it spaced out. Make sure you indent full – you know, complete sentences, uh, do the right thing here, and uh, you'll get full credit on it. Just wanted to do a quick word on sources when it comes to writing your paper. Um, whenever you think about sources, we need to think uh, about uh, information that we can we can validate, things that we know are absolutely true. And so I know a lot of people are weary about Wikipedia, um, and it's understandable. Um, but we need to be sure that um, you know I, I don't I'm not against Wikipedia, but I'd rather use a, another source. It's a good starting point. Uh, you know, you might actually go into to Wikipedia and um, and try to find their sources. You know, Wikipedia they always cite their their sources, and so um, a good place to go is down here at the very bottom. So you, here's the example uh, person. So we're going to go down here to the bottom and see there's a ton. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different um, different sources that they go back and they look at, you know, this one's this here, number 221, is um, from the Department of Justice. So it's a government source. We can trust that for the most part. 
Other uh, ones are from books. Um, uh, other uh, different ones are from maybe newspapers. And so, say you know you're wanting to learn about the assassination of, um, let's see here, Martin Luther King. So, um, let's see here. Here's one about his last speech. I've been to the mountaintop speech. Uh, another famous speech of his. Of course, it's, it's his last one. Um, but if you want to know more about that, you go down here. You click on one. Uh, 187 and even tells you uh, the article that they get the information from and that they connect that information to and it goes to Newsweek and so now this one's a little bit old and, and make sure you can actually find those so this is a good example of why you don't use Wikipedia um, because just because they, they put a link there doesn't mean that the, the, the information is from that page uh, so let's go down here and try another one um, so that one's a, a book, so it'll be a little bit harder to do. Whoops, let's go back. Clicked on the wrong thing. Um, so here's another one from the Department of Justice. We click on it. Let's hope it works. Maybe internet's slow. No, you can't. Let's try, let's try another one. Um, let's keep on going. So this one's from a, a newspaper article from The Guardian. Guardian is a newspaper in uh, the United Kingdom. So look, we got a newspaper article um, I mean, they're not as trustworthy as an encyclopedia or um, a book, maybe, uh, but it's better than uh, just pulling it from Wikipedia, and we've we've seen why just now. So, some sources you might uh, use, Encyclopedia Britannica is a good one to use. I used it quite a bit in looking up um, the people for this project. Uh, we have World Book access here. It's got great articles um, we've used before. Encyclopedia.com. Go to universities and check out some of their archives. You can just search the person's name and maybe they have something on it. Well, here's another one from uh, this one's from uh, University of, uh, Digital Library of Georgia. So um, that'd be a good one. Got a lot of information from Biography.com. It's an old uh, part of History Channel, um, and they have uh, video biographies and stuff uh, from a lot of uh, for a lot of these people. Uh, so. Uh, History.com's got a little bit, not as much as biography. Um, another good one is Duxters.com. Like it a lot. So there's a good. Those are some good starting points. Um, but again, don't just rely on Wikipedia. I know it's easy, but it may not always be.